Big boy Remco M. Paul. He has Strava, and we can see some data. You can see some unbelievable data that I don't think many people have seen before. Some glad, I can't remember his name, he uh, commented on my YouTube channel. Said, Evan Paul did 430 watts for t- like 20 minutes or whatever it was. Here's the date. Like, look at his Strava. So I was like, all right, all right, all right. So I looked at his Strava before, and um, it's pretty disappointing. He stopped uploading in July um, of, well, sorry, 20th of June. And these ones he realised he didn't want to post power. And the other slight issue with his data is that he only posts data from TTs and this one mountain test. His road races, he doesn't post any power. Maybe they have Pamio on his bike, I'm not 100% sure. But on the more recent ones, like this one here, I obviously know he's training with power. Um, oh yeah, no, he does actually post his power. Okay, so maybe he did get power meter in the end. Bit confusing, but anyway, lots of data that I, want, I was looking at. I couldn't find. I was using the old pro cycling stats to have a look at his... His day to the old Evan Pole. Um, yeah, and you'll be able to see, like, his, so we go back to his junior days, um, and he destroyed everyone, basically. I mean, luck of the number first. Um, but anyway, so I looked at all these data, was like, oh, what, what can I see? What can I see, you know, on the mountains? But anyway, so there's not much, too much on the mountains, um, but there is a lot, a lot of information about his time trialing. Um, so if we just look at an overview of his training uh, recently, so but when he was a junior, he's sort of doing, you know, 16 20 hour weeks around that um he went on the quick step training camp um in sort of january and february uh if you didn't know it was pretty obvious he was going to sign for them he was riding their um last year's specialized bikes uh so yeah anyway no like he lives around brussels it seems does a lot of the training there um but anyway you know he's doing decent hours um he's full-time obviously in that last year as junior so he could train pretty much 20 hour weeks um very easily so anyway we'll go you know, the first couple of results. So this was Saturday, 21st of April, uh, which I believe was not actually a UCI race, but um, it's a decent time trial. And um, you'll be able to see his power um, in the time trial position as well. And obviously everyone knows that's slightly less. Um, but yeah, you know, he's doing 360 watts for 16 minutes. You have to remember this lad weighs about 60 kilos. So, you know, that's that's almost six watts per kilo uh, in the TT position. And um, yeah, I think this is him training for the Nationals, uh, the TT Nationals, which he won. Um, we'll be able to find that, and uh, I'm pretty sure he won that uh, by an absolutely huge mark. Oh no, only 49 seconds, so not huge, huge, but still very respectable nonetheless. Um, so yeah, he's, you know, a world, world hitter. But anyway, you can look at that data, so we have 21st of April, 350 watts for half an hour, solid. Uh, we now have the 1st of May when he won that time trial title, um, and you'll be able to see he did 374 weighted, 360 average, um, for 38 minutes, um, and this time trial course is very interesting, actually. Um, it's not what you'd expect. Um, I'll just check this is the same one you had first of May. Yeah, so that is the same one. Uh, it's very hilly, and so, you know, obviously, it's going to be spiking the power at the beginning, but you can see for this first 10-minute section, he had 416 watts, um, which obviously is very, very solid. And, you know, that's almost touching 6, 7 watts per kilo. In the time trial bike for the first 10 minutes <clears throat> pretty mad um most people can't really do that you know on their road bike fresh and that's it obviously he then continued um and the second time up this mountain obviously didn't get as solid at a time uh he only did 384 watts but you know he's you can already see with the boy he's he's a well beater i mean you know it's gonna be going to be a good day out for him uh so anyway fourth of may again i don't think this is uc oh no this is a uci race it's the time trial in the course de la Paix Junior. Thought it'd be in France, apparently not. Uh, Czech Republic again, three seventy-eight watts. So all three, yeah, so about three eighty watts for fourteen minutes on the flat. Obviously, it's harder to put power on the flat, but um, yeah, again, that's you know six point three, six point four watts per kilo for the boy you know, for fourteen minutes. So again, pretty solid. Um, so you can see like his time trialing is, you know, I thought his time trialing was decent, but not amazing. I was just like, he's just small. But no, the numbers he puts out are very respectable, and obviously it's tiny, so CD8 will be minuscule as well. We now go on to the power file that shocked me, 426 watts for 23 minutes. And when you think about the boy's 61 kilos, we can do the maths. And, you know, he'll definitely have to lose 2-3 kilos in the future. We're talking about almost 7 watts per kilo uh, for 23 minutes. People might say, I mean, Joey Reed potentially does 
I'm not so sure. Sam is is mad for sure, but he's he's a mad mad talent. That boy. I mean, you know, didn't actually get the KOM, which potentially does mean that Palmy is under reading. But the guy who beat him, well, there's two people who beat him. Uh, I'm not really sure when they did this test, but you can see this is like a Belgian training camp sort of thing. Beat Pino by you know a decent time. Beat Han van Hook, who races for Lotto. Sudal, um, but yeah, you can see this boy this year. Pff, watch out for this boy then. So they, well, Belgian boys, basically do this test up this mountain, um, and you know he did 400 watts for 22 minutes. So I'd watch out for Ilan van Wilder. Um, and if you notice, I'm pretty sure Ilan van Wilder was the bloke who finished second to him in his. Yeah, he did. So that boy is going to be good as well. And now uh, we also have this other bloke. Uh, he did 365 watts and beat him as well. So maybe, you know, I guess he does ride for a lot of Sudal and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is also part of the Belgian testing. Um, but anyway, yeah, so maybe his family did under read, but, you know, that's still very, very respectable. Um, time at that mountain you know, is over reading, uh, which potentially is, but still 426 watts. I mean, it's still going to be like, you know, 400 watts or ish for the boys. So yeah, he's definitely got world class talent, that's for sure. And it's, you know, it's at least six, six and a half watts per kilo, probably. Um, even if it is slightly over reading, because um, you know, it could be 20 watts over, but it's not going to be like 50 watts over. But anyway, that's the sort of power the boy can do. Not really surprising. Um, I think I've got one more piece of data where he, he only finished second in this TC, and you can see his power's well down. He only did like 370 watts, but then at the end, he sort of managed to bang out 440 watts up some of these segments. Um, but anyway, yeah, so what do we think about Remco? Absolute monster. Is it surprising that he's won so much this year? Not really. Um, you know, like he's obviously got the power as we are out to see. It's very small. And yeah, so Remco involved 426 watts. Is that correct? What do you think? I'm not so sure because of the times that other people have done at that climb, meaning that like juniors and under 23s are doing 7.2 watts per kilo. <sighs> Unlikely. Pat me and my overread a little bit, but anyway, he's a world-class climber, there's no doubting that. And um, we love to see the boy winning races, I love the man. Him and Egan seem like they've got a good friendship going on. Um, so anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.